Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today, I have a really neat new tool to show you. It's the brand new Milwaukee compact lightweight bandsaw. And this is a compact bandsaw, but it's a little bigger than uh, usual. This uh, area right here is actually three and a quarter inches both ways. So uh, compact bandsaws are normally two and a half inches. So this one's three and a quarter. So it's lightweight and small like other compact bandsaws. In fact, this is only 7.67 pounds without the battery, which is really lightweight. And then, um, see those 7.67 pounds like that. And then they give you, if you get the kit, you get uh, two of these um, 3.0, they call them CP3O's. <laughs> Uh, red lithium high quality no high output uh, batteries and you put them on there like that okay so the safety button right here you gotta push that first if you're right handed you hit this safety button with your thumb now it comes with a 10 TPI blade which is very aggressive it's for like quarter inch angle iron and such things like that it's, that's really too aggressive for uh, EMT you know, thin wall, uh, electrometallic tubing and so forth. Uh, here, we, here we are with, uh, this is some rigid non-metallic tubing that's used for electrical work. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of a rough starting, but it's got a really nice variable speed. So you can start real slow, come down. Then it's really quick. But you saw, uh, when I was starting there, it was a little rough. Uh, I, the, ba the blade that I most like to use for EMT would be a 18 TPI. A and for this, for the uh, non-metallic tubing, uh, I would prefer 14 TPI. That's teeth per inch. And I have some 14s. I went to Home Depot and uh, all they had was 14s. Uh, I would have liked to get some 18s too. Uh, some people like to use 24 TPI, which is give you a real smooth start, but then it's going to be slow. And it's going to burn your, your um, non-metallic tube. But some people uh, really like the 24 TPI. 18 uh, is great for me. That's what I like. Okay, this is 35 and 3 8 inches. So to change out the blade, the first thing you do is take off the battery for safety. And then you want to take off these guards. I've already taken off this guard off of the motor side. And now I'm going to take this guard off. You just expand it like that. And see it comes right off. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to take this latch and loosen it up. And then you just pull this out of the guides. Do this with gloves on. Okay, you just pull it out. So we're going to pull off the 10 TPI. And here we have the 12 to 14 TPI. I'm going to take and put this. Just thread it right around. Okay, now these are the guides right here. Just put one in there. Put the other one in like that. Okay, make sure it's all down all the way. Okay. And you, Turn it over, put that latch back on. Okay, then you just temporarily put the battery back on and give it a little spin. And that sets it right where it goes. Take the battery back off. So here's your two safety covers right here. Uh, notice on this side, this one's got a cutout. The cutout goes on this battery side right here. Okay, so that one's on. That one's on. This one's easier to get on. This one, it's always a little difficult because of the battery. Okay, so now we're gonna put our battery back on. All right. There we go, we've changed blades. Now, watch, it's gonna start a lot better. Watch. This is the uh, 14. Okay, I gotta put this guide back down. I like the guide down because I can see what I'm doing better. All the way down. There. 
Okay, I like that guide all the way down. It's, it just helps me cut nice and straight. Okay, so let me get a little angle here. Okay, so see so you put this guide right against your work and you still want to start slow, but it's going to be easier to start with the um, higher TPI. I got to get used to the safety trigger. Okay. That's a lot more controllable with the 12 to 14 TPI. Let's say you want to do you know, cut some uh, three-quarter EMT. It's still the same thing. You put it on there, put the guide nice and perpendicular to your pipe. Like I say, my, my preference is 18 TPI for this, but 14 will work. So here's some half inch EMT. Put your guide perpendicular to the pipe. Start it slow. Here's some one inch EMT. Okay, so there's your one inch EMT. Well, here I'm going to be cutting half inch rigid pipe and I'll put the guide nice and perpendicular. some two inch rigid. Uh, this is the kind of conduit that we would normally use for service entrance cable to a house. And once again, you get your guide perpendicular to the work. Start, start a little slow. There you go. The saw has a power state brushless motor and Milwaukee claims that this bandsaw is the fastest cutting in its class. The saw is protected with a system that Milwaukee calls job site armor technology which protects the saw from the impact of drops. It has an LED work light and it has an integrated rafter hook. In conclusion, I really like this saw. It's lightweight, it feels good in my hand, it's quick to use. If I were to make a couple of suggestions to Milwaukee, it would be that I would like the safety switch to be a little closer to the main switch. It's something that I'm going to get used to. It's not a problem, it's not a deal killer, but it would be more convenient if it was just closer to the main switch so you don't have to reach your thumb up to punch it while you're using the saw. The other thing is, I think it'd be better to include a 12 to 14 TPI blade with the saw as opposed to the eight to 10 TPI blade. I think that's more of a multi-purpose blade. One thing I really like about the saw is that it's brushless. A lot of the competitors, or some of the competitors anyway, <laughs> basically haven't gotten around to putting a brushless motor in their bandsaw, in their top of the line mini bandsaw. I'll put a link in my video description for the Milwaukee Compact Bandsaw, both as a bear tool and as a kit. And I'll put links for the 
different sizes of blades from 8 to 12 all the way to 24 TPI. Also, I'll put a link for the reamer. There's a reamer that is made to go on the motorized wheel, and I'm going to buy one. It's not quite available yet, but it is available for pre-order. And I'll put links for the new Milwaukee fish tapes. At this time, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Angler fish tape is only available for pre-order, but it should be out quite quickly. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.